Hi, I'm Cindy Hogan. And I'm Heather Banks. This is one of four Try It videos that will show you the new My Connection feature exclusive to the new SDX325 and SDX330D. My Connection allows the SDX325 and SDX330D to communicate with a wirelessly connected XP embroidery machine. Built-in cut data can be sent directly to My Design Center to create embroidery designs. You can also send embroidery data directly to the SDX325 and SDX330D machines wirelessly. In addition, once My Connection is enabled on the XP, the XP adds a new function, the ability to create appliques from shapes and embroidery designs and not just around the exterior of designs. In this video, you will learn how to turn parts of an embroidery design into an applique and then transfer the applique pieces wirelessly to the SDX325 and 330D, all without software or having to use a USB flash drive. This truly is an amazing function. All right, I'm ready to get started. How about you, Heather? I'm ready too, Cindy. Let's get going. On the home screen of the Luminaire, touch embroidery. We're going to select one of the many built-in embroidery patterns and turn parts of it into an applique to create a layered embroidery design. In addition to being able to send applique data to the Scan and Cut DX machine, the My Connection function adds the ability to create applique data from existing designs. You can use most of the built-in designs for this process, but not all are suitable. You can also bring in purchased embroidery designs and use the same process. However, keep in mind that Disney designs are not available for use due to licensing and copyright. Touch Category 1. There are many categories of designs to select from. Feel free to explore them all. The Luminaire really does have a wide variety. Touch Subcategory 14. This is where we'll locate the design that we're going to use today. Touch Design 003 to select the design. You're looking for a design that has fill areas that will lend themselves to being turned into an applique. Much of the selection process can be trial and error. You're looking for a design with a closed area to be able to convert to an applique. Touch set to move the design to the embroidery edit screen. Touch edit. This is where you will find the tools to edit your embroidery designs. Don't worry, any changes you make will not affect the original design. It is extremely helpful to have these tools built into the embroidery machine instead of having to go to the embroidery software to do all of the editing. The Luminaire has quite a few fun tools built right into the brain of the machine. Talk about convenience at your fingertips. Touch the applique key. Here is where you create appliques from designs. The Luminaire without my connection activated has the first applique key, the applique patch normal. This creates an applique patch around the exterior of the pattern. My Connection adds a new key, the Create Applique Patch for Selected Colors key. This is a huge new benefit to XP owners. It allows you to create applique data from selected colors in the design, again, right on the machine. No software required. Once you start playing with this, you may find it hard to stop. You'll be having so much fun trying out different designs and stitch combinations. Touch the applique patch for selected colors. This will take us to the color selection screen to select the colors that we want converted to applique areas. For this design, we want to choose the pink color tiles by touching them with the stylus. This selects those areas to convert to applique. You can select multiple colors to have an applique created around them. For this design, by creating a patch for the pink color segments, we can dramatically reduce the number of stitches in the design and create a layered embroidery effect. Touch next to proceed to the next step in the applique creation process, the applique creation screen. This screen allows you to select the covering stitch and designate the stitch properties for the selected colors. Since the applique portions will be under the rest of the stitches, a light zigzag stitch or the covering stitch off are the best options for this design. The satin stitch would be too heavy of an outline. Touch preview to see a preview of the patch. The preview key changes to the next key. If you want to try a different type covering stitch, touch it and then touch preview again to view the design.
we want to go with a light zigzag. So choose the first option, touch preview, and then touch next. This screen shows you the preview of the design with the other colors layered on top of it. This is going to be a beautiful embroidery design, but I want to show you one other thing. If you notice, we have some white areas here on top of the design. I want to turn those off. I can do that. So what I want to do is touch the white color tile and touch the no sew key. The no sew key turns off that color segment. I now have one side turned off. I need to turn the other side off. So scroll down till you see the other white color tile, touch the color tile and then touch the no sew key. Now my white segments are not going to embroider. Touch OK to set the design onto the embroidery edit screen when you're done making your selections. Our design is ready to be transferred to our Scan and Cut DX machine wirelessly. Touch the memory key and then touch the transfer to the Scan and Cut key. This will send the design wirelessly to the Scan and Cut DX machine to be able to cut out the applique parts from the My Connection area of the Scan and Cut DX325 or 330D machine. When the message appears, touch transfer. The message that appears is telling you that it's going to overwrite the last file that you sent to the Scan and Cut DX machine. If you haven't cut that design out yet, you will want to do so before transferring this design. If you are finished with that design, you may proceed. Only one design can be sent at a time wirelessly. While our design is beginning the embroidery, Heather is going to proceed by cutting out our applique pieces on the SDX330D. On the home screen, touch the left navigation arrow once to navigate to the My Connection key and touch My Connection. This is where the transferred files will be found. Here you can select patterns to send to the XP and retrieve my connection files you have saved to the Scan and Cut DX as well as files that you have transferred from the XP embroidery machine. Touch retrieve. We want to retrieve the file from the XP. Touch the wireless LAN device to select the XP machine. The design appears in a new window. We'll be using the applique key or the badge. This key recognizes embroidery designs with applique data from the XP. For that to happen, one of the colors in the design must be labeled applique material. If a design doesn't have this, you would touch the flower. This is the embroidery data key. The XP applique creator automatically creates appliques. Touch the applique key. Touch OK to confirm the selection of this part. This applique only has one color-coded section, therefore it was automatically selected. Touch Set to cut, place the cut data in the layout window. We'll be using the standard auto blade with the black top. Let's insert it into the machine so we can get ready to cut. We have applied Brothers iron-on fabric applique sheet to the wrong side of our fabric. We'll be removing the paper backing from the back of the fabric and applying it to the standard tack mat with the right side up and fusible side down. Place the mat between the grooves in the front of the machine. Place one hand on the mat to support it and press the load button. Once the mat is under the rollers, remove your hand. It is very important to have proper mat loading techniques. Not paying attention means the mat can load crooked and potentially damage a corner, which would make loading the mat difficult the next time you try. Touch the background scan key. The background scan function is exclusive to the scan and cut machine. It allows you to view where your material is on the mat so you don't need to count grid squares. Let's press start and begin scanning.
Move the applique design over onto the newly scanned fabric background. It's important that the cut data is over the media and doesn't extend beyond this area. Touch OK to proceed to the Operation Selection menu. Touch Please Select and touch Cut. Look at the screen to make sure that the half cut setting is not turned on. Touch Test to add a test cut pattern. I'm going to move mine down to the bottom of the fabric so it'll be a little easier to check. Press Start to begin the cutting process. The machine will, will cut the test cut and then stop to let you make sure that the media cut cleanly. If your test cut was good, press start. Gently remove the applique pieces from the mat. You may wish to use a spatula for this process so you don't stretch the fabric or crimp a corner. Looks like we're ready for this fabric to head on over to Cindy. While Heather was cutting, I stitched the placement stitch onto my fabric. Heather's finished cutting our fabric, so let's place it down on top of the placement stitches. Notice how well that lines up. There was no need to add any additional sizing or offsets. They aligned perfectly. Now you're going to take it and press it and complete your embroidery project. As you can see, my connection can really expand your XP's creative capabilities with the ability to create applique patches from existing embroidery designs. A patch area can dramatically reduce the embroidery time and create texture within the design. In addition, the transfer process to the SDX325 and SDX330D machines makes for a seamless, faster workflow. We really think you'll enjoy the new creative opportunities that my connection has to offer.